If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Well, this is a challenge not just for Tom Brady, but also for Byron Lefwich, the Bucks' offensive coordinator, because being yeah. down Tristan Wirfs against this pass rush, whether it's Von Miller or Leonard Floyd, they both rush from both sides. It's an immense challenge, and I think you're going to see the Bucks do some of the things they did last week when Wirfs got hurt and his backup Josh Wells came in. The ball is going to come out super quick. They're going to use tempo. And then something I'd really like to see, Laura, is for Tampa Bay to use more play action. This season, they actually used play action at the lowest rate in the entire NFL. When they went to the play action pass on Sunday, Brady went six for eight for 102 yards. You know that it helps an offensive line, buys him a little more time. And I think it's their best way to generate explosives down the field. This is going to be a lot of quick passing, but if they use that play action game, I think they can connect on a few downfield shots as well. ABA, I guess uh, Tristan and um, Ryan Jensen were suited up. Uh, what, what were they able to do? How did they look? And um, how do you feel about Sunday? Yeah, they, they both moved around um, in individual drills and uh, we didn't put them in any team stuff so they wouldn't get tripped or anything. So yeah. it's still 48 hours and uh, they're progressing nicely. And um, with uh, Perriman's situation, uh, is it uh, more likely than not that we might see John Brown and how has he looked this week? Uh, John Brown has looked really good and uh, he fit right in. We had a lot of recall of what we were doing. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we're going to make that move because uh, Cyril practiced today some uh, and, and looked okay. The Los Angeles Rams already have ruled out Andrew Whitworth from Sunday's game. And so while the Buccaneers have some problems up front with Tristan Wirfs, Ryan Jensen, Andrew Whitworth already ruled out of the game. Joe Nopalm looks like he'll be filling in at Andrew Whitworth's position. Tough spot for Los Angeles going on the road to be without their veteran. Yeah, when you think about that, and of course with wrapping out too, it's a, a very difficult situation on both sides when it comes to the yeah. offensive lines. Uh, Leonard Fournette, he looks fine. He, he looks good. He didn't have the setback yet last week, so we'll wait and see. And when do you anticipate you will make a decision as far as Ryan Jensen and Tristan Wirfs? Probably an hour and a half before the game. The Rams, you heard from Adam, they're still missing Taylor Rapp. They are still down to their backed up safe, backup safety, yeah. pardon me. Arizona could not take advantage of that. We thought they would. We thought they would be able to connect on some uh, in-breaking routes over the middle of the field. Tampa Bay can. Just need to run the ball, use the play-action pass, and I think they can exploit the Rams' weaknesses uh, in a way that Arizona could not. The only person's not practicing with Ronald Jones and Brashard Perriman. Well, the Bucks will be facing the Rams this Sunday at Raymond James Stadium and are keeping their recent playoff trend alive by facing a team they also saw in the regular season. Defensive coordinator Todd Bowles was asked how the Rams' offense has evolved this season since that first matchup. Well, they're kind of like us. They got quite a few guys back as well from injury, and I thought they did a heck of a job last week running the football, but we know they can throw it as well. Like you said, they have a lot of weapons. I think it's kind of like pick your poison with those guys. If you stop the run, they can throw it. If you stop the pass, they can run it. So, you know, you got to play fundamentally sound football, and it's going to be a heck of a ball game. The Bucks signed cornerback Rashard Robinson and wide receiver Justin Watson to the practice squad this week, and Cyril Grayson, Ronald Jones, Ryan Jensen, Rashad Perriman, and Tristan Wirfs all did not participate in Wednesday or Thursday's practice, but good news is Sean Murphy Bunting was upgraded to limited on Thursday. Gronkowski going into this game, Bruce, you know, given Von Miller and Donald and Floyd, uh, Bruce, that balancing act going through your head right now about... Uh, trying to utilize Gronk maybe more as a blocker, but you want him downfield. Um, how's that balancing act going in your, in your head? Uh, yeah, we've got a, a number of different things in the game plan. Uh, Gronk's very, very critical in the passing game to be sitting back there blocking too much. But uh, you can use them in different ways. And um, But the guys who are playing have to block their guys. And Bruce, uh, what's your anticipation uh, about Ramsey, could we see a Ramsey-Evans uh, uh, chess match out there, or do the Rams not use him uh, in that particular style? They have at times, but uh, he plays nickel some. He's all over the place. So uh, I would anticipate some of it, um, but I, I wouldn't say it's going to be wholesale.
Rams, Bucks in Tampa Bay. Obviously, Aaron Donald, Von Miller going against a banged up offensive line for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who still have fucking Tom Brady at quarterback. Matthew Stafford in the Rams offense played a fucking perfect game, it felt like last game. Tampa Bay blew the shit out of the goddamn Eagles. Scotty Miller couldn't get eight and a half yards, Ugh. but everybody else seemed to be able to do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Two teams very hot coming off great games. Your thoughts, AJ? I really wish this line was actually three and a half because I'm going to take the Rams here to, to find a way to win this one, I think. All right, give me the Bucks. All right. It's Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Tom Brady's 17 and three in his last 20 playoff games. So just no team. Yeah, this, this, this may be the first time I picked against Tom Brady. And also, Stafford had his moment. He got a playoff victory. They have something they can build on for next year. Hey, we had a good team. When you watch Aaron Donald, um, as opposed to all the players that, that you've seen throughout your career. What is it, I guess, maybe that's, that's so special about this guy when you watch him? Uh, for a guy of his size, his strength and his quickness, that combination uh, is, is very unique. I uh, wouldn't worry about Aaron Donald. I mean, there's a uh, offensive assistant line coach on, on the box who has dealt with Aaron Donald many times. Two times a year yeah, for yeah. multiple years. Coach A.Q. Shipley, who's what? been in a fucking cave, I feels like. I don't know if it's me not wanting to reach out to him because he's in the middle of a run or him not reaching out to me. I'm excited to see him postseason. Yeah. yeah. But that son of a could coach two Super Bowls in less than a year coaching, basically. Unbelievable. That guy's unbelievable. That boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And, you know, Giovanni Bernard uh, came up big for you last week. He also came up big for you in the fourth quarter of that first Rams game. But he's had some injuries, uh, first against the Rams with the knee and then later with, with the hip. Um, that you haven't been able to see him for the whole season. But but in, in the times that you have, what does this guy bring to the table for you? And And what do you really like about his game the most? He's a very productive pro. I mean, he's a pro. He's prepared. Um, his quickness, he's a he's an excellent inside runner and uh, and a heck of a receiver. So he brings a lot of things that we can utilize in a game plan, not just third down. Bruce, Jordan Whitehead's in a contract year, and he's really played uh, his, his best football this season. What have, what have you seen from Jordan's growth over the last three years that you've been here? And, and how would you describe him as, as a defensive player? Well, he's a hitter. And he's a hitter, and he's a, he's a guy that's always prepared. He's really, really improved his pass defense in the last year and a half. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a force because um, he's one of those guys that he's going to bring it. He's going to cause turnovers, and uh, you love having him on your squad. Coach, and Sue is one of the players that you really don't get asked about because he's always available. How important is it that this guy just shows up week after week after week it gives you that great effort and great performance. No, it's amazing. <laughs> He's got a routine, like I said, I don't fool with because it works. He hasn't missed a game in whatever it is, 12 years, and uh, still playing at a extremely high level, and I would expect him to have a big game this week. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.